Hey guys, it's Ashley with Pugs and Pearls, and today we are going to be doing another Get Ready With Me video. I've got some new makeup from Dose of Colors, so I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of that, and you can see what I picked up and what we're gonna be using today. So I have never purchased from Dose of Colors just from their website, and uh, this is the first time that I've gotten some of their palettes. I do love their liquid matte lipsticks. This is the card that we get. It just has Desi and Kitty. Um, they did a collab, I guess, with Dose of Colors. And then one of the things I purchased, which I'm so excited about from that collab, is a mauve story. So it's a liquid velvet lipstick. I think these are really, really pretty on the lips. They're really, really long lasting. And this one comes in that special packaging for that collection. So I think that's gonna be really fun to try today. And then I did purchase two palettes. I'm only gonna use one today, but I just wanted to um, share with you which ones I did purchase. So I got the Baked Browns palette. This is just, um, I don't know, I think a very neutral palette that I could wear, very everyday work appropriate makeup. So it's got this like matte texture, very, very pretty, very, very smooth. On the back it has the shade names. And then if you look at what's inside, it actually comes with a brush, a little um, covering, and then there are our really pretty shades. And I think um, this is gonna be such a fun look to do today. So I'm excited to try this one out. And one of the reasons why I purchased this, um, recently there's been an eyeshadow palette tag going around and so many people talked about these dose of colors like small palettes. So I had to try the brown. And then the other one that people talked about so much in that tag video was the Friendication Desi and Katie Dose of Colors palette. So I just, I could not help myself. This is such a gorgeous palette, you guys. So let me show you what it looks like. I mean, just from the outside, it's got that beautiful glitter. Let's show you, give you a little close up. On the back, it, that it has all of the shade names. And then this is such a pretty, such a pretty palette. Like look at all of those gorgeous colors. They're very vibrant very beautiful and it looks like you could do some neutral and colorful looks so this will be in an upcoming get ready with me video but not today we're going to just focus on our baked browns um so we're going to go ahead and get started Alrighty, guys to start off with i'm just going to zoom y'all in a little bit so you can see me up close a little bit better i am going to take some of my sephora hair clips and just put my hair back just to get it out of my face these are really really nice and easy to use and even though they're tiny they actually really do good at holding your hair um, while you're doing your makeup. Normally I like to put like a little um, headband in, but these have been working out really, really nicely. So let's start off with our first thing that I love to do. This is the Smashbox Primer Water in the scent So, Co so Chill Coconut. I love this primer. It just gives me a little bit of re or hydration back into my skin. I am also going to put the Brazilian Lip Kiss on my lips just to give me a little bit of hydration. This is one of my favorite lip balms of all time. If you have not checked out this brand, you need to go check it out. It smells so good. You just feel like you're on a tropical island when you put this on. I And it's a big size too. It's like a big lip balm. Next for the eyes, we are going to put this MAC Paint Pot on. This is in the shade Painterly and this is just really helpful to give yourself an eye base. I'm going to move my little mirror here so if I'm looking here that's what I'm doing just making sure I can apply this properly but this stuff goes on so creamy the pot lasts a long time I want to say it's like 18 19 dollars but it will last you a good amount of time there's just a lot of product in here and a little bit really does go a super long way so when I put this on, the reason why I use the eye base is it really gives me a nice base for my eyeshadow and it also covers up any discoloration on your eyelids. Alrighty guys, a new step in makeup for me is using this Wanderlust Beauty Oil. This is their illuminating face oil. It's called their Glow Ahead Face Oil and it's honestly a really, really pretty product. It comes out pink, kind of has like this shimmery pink, but it's a very controlled, um, it's a very controlled like oil. I love that it comes in a tube. And I just kind of massage this into my face. And I notice ever so slightly that it really does give a light kind of glow through my foundation. So I really, really like that. I think that's kind of a unique thing. And I always used to be super afraid of using oil, but this is not, um, not greasy at all. It just sinks into your skin. And again, kind of helps with that hydration factor. So really, really have enjoyed that um, from Wander Beauty. 
Next up, guys, I'm taking my Professional Primer. This is in their hydration formula. Um, I do notice, now that I've been able to test this out a little bit more, it is slightly more hydrating than the original primer. Um, so if you are looking for something that's going to give you a little bit more hydration back into your skin, you might want to consider this. Um, just be forewarned though that it does, the primers from Benefit do have a little bit of a scent. So if you don't like a small like floral scent, you may not be interested in that. Um, do I like it better than the original though, I think is the real question. And I feel like the jury is still out. I don't think so is going to be my answer today, but I have been using this little travel size up um, just to get through it, give it a nice review to see if it is something that I would switch to, but I really like the original one that's in the green packaging. Next guys, I'm gonna go in with an additional primer. This is my Dior Forever uh, Everwear Skin. Uh, primer and I really like this thing. I just feel like it gives you an extra smoothing to your skin It makes your skin really really soft and the reason why I'm actually adding this on today is because I am doing a Webinar later tonight, and so I really want to look my best and this is one of those like one of those additional steps that I will add to my makeup if I really want to go like the extra mile just to look extra put together so it is expensive, a little pricey, but I do pair it with my Dior foundation, which I'm actually going to use now. That is the Forever foundation. Now this one, um, they have discontinued this particular version, but they have a few other versions. I think there's a 24 hour wear one. I do have the shade 10. So um, this is just has been a very nice, like kind of luxurious foundation for me. It just goes onto the skin super, super well and just gives me a good amount of coverage, but doesn't make me feel like I'm cakey or anything, but I really, really like it. And I do like to kind of do my face in quadrants a little bit, just so that <laughs> if the foundation does dry quickly, it won't dry um, before I can get it blended in on my skin. And again, I'm really excited and looking forward to trying some of those newer um, foundations that Dior has put out. Again, they are pricey, but I have found their quality to be really good. There are some Dior products that I really, really do enjoy utilizing. Alrighty guys, one thing that I did forget to put on prior to doing my foundation was my um, Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light. This is a concealer, and I do just like to put this underneath my eyes. This is, um, like, I am at the end of this little bottle, so I'm going to have to switch over to my backup soon. But I just try to get as much out of it as I can because it's an expensive concealer, if you ask me. Um, so I do try to use it up before I move on to the next one. And I'm just going to blend that in with my 138 BH Cosmetics brush. I'm just going to kind of tap that into my skin right underneath my chin here. And then most importantly under my eyes, which is really where I try to cover up any kind of like darkness. I don't think I suffer from too much darkness, but I do have a little bit of like, you know, I feel like under eye bags that kind of show up sometimes. So I do feel like Shape Tape is a very, very strong concealer if you're looking to really, to really cover up under eye circles. Alrighty guys, so to set today, we are going to be taking this Too Faced powder. This is their Primed and Poreless powder, and it's just a really pretty um, basic translucent powder. I find this to be really, really nice on most foundations. It just goes on really smoothly and makes your skin um, pretty flawless. So tr pressed translucent powders, loose translucent powders, I really like using those as powder um, over my foundation and I don't ever tend to see that it like turns it white or anything like that if you're ever afraid of that. It really just does a good job of setting it so that you know your foundation is gonna last hopefully like a little bit longer. Alrighty guys, next up we're gonna take this Becca Blush and Highlighter Duo. This is in Flower Child and then this highlighter is Champagne Pop. These are my favorite kind of like ones to use when I don't really have anything else. Um, I'm just gonna pop that on the top of my cheeks. I feel like Flower Child gives such a nice little flush of color. You can kind of build it up or you can keep it kind of sheer, but it's a really pretty formula, so I'm really, really pleased with it. I use it all the time, and if you've been on my channel, you know you've seen it many, many times. Again, going in with Champagne Pop here, just putting a little bit on this Wet n Wild brush and just doing the tops of my cheeks there. Gives me a nice little flush of color. Just a little bit, nothing too crazy. And then guys, we're gonna go in with this Laura Geller Baked Blush. This is in the Bronze and Brighten Medium. 
And this is actually a pretty nice bronzer. It lasts a really long time. This is a travel size and I've had this for probably over a year. And I just put this into the hollows of my cheeks and I can build it up or, you know, again, kind of like diffuse it if I want to. I normally go over my temples a little bit just to give me a little bit more of a warmth. And again, just on the other side as well. And down my neck here after I get done with my chin just to kind of tie it all together. It really does like warm up the face a little bit, especially if you feel like you're a little pale. I know I feel a little pale right now, but I think it looks really good. Alrighty guys, are we ready for some eyeshadow? Okay, so we are first going to take, let's see, I'm gonna use this really light brown shade here. This is called Deserted. So we're gonna start with this light matte. I'm gonna take just a fluffy brush and we're gonna go in with that. It does kick up um, some you can see it kicks it up a little bit, some of that eyeshadow, but that's okay. I just tap it off before I go in. And I'm just going to go into that crease and start to build up our transition shade. Very, very pretty. And again, I've had no experience with Joseph Color's eyeshadow, so I'm super excited to kind of like see how I feel about their quality. Just initial, initial impressions from this first shade. Great pigment. Blends out and it shows up, which I think is really important. Sometimes you get eyeshadows, they don't even show up. This is really, really nice, really beautiful transition shade here. Next up, guys, we're gonna go into Outdoorsy. It's another a little bit um, deeper matte, just to, again, build up that outer corner and go into the, um, into the crease just a little. Again, I'm gonna tap off because there is fallout on that shadow, which is fine as long as it blends in nicely. And yes, we are deepening up that corner really, really nicely. I like how that's coming along really well. They tend to blend into each other really good and we're getting it a little bit darker. So far, I'm really, really excited about this palette. Again, I'm, I'm really hoping this can be like another everyday neutral palette for me. I love browns um, on the eyes and I don't typically do a lot of completely neutral looks, but so far, like I said, I'm really pleased with with this and I'm excited to see what it what it ends up looking like when we're done. Next we're gonna go in with Cherry Wood. I do plan on using all of these shadows on my eyes today. I'm taking a slightly denser um, fluffy brush to kind of pack that in over here and oh my gosh guys, it's really, really pretty. That is a gorgeous color. I was worried it might be too, um, too orangey, but it's actually a really balanced brown like some browns really turn out very very orange very quickly but this is just building up that outer crease super nicely i'm kind of surprised i really wasn't sure if i was going to like that shade just because i was worried it was going to turn this look orange but it is really deepening up that outer corner very nicely and again just kind of blending it in they seem to blend into each other really really well Alrighty, guys the last shade we're going to go into is rock bottom and it's the darkest matte in this little palette here. And I'm just going to take a very narrow brush and I'm just going to really focus that outer V because I really want that shade to look like it's um, kind of like fading. So I'm going to blend it into the crease and keep it mostly in the corner. It's very, very dark. Again, stands on its own as far as like the shade. Alrighty guys, so now I'm just going to kind of go in with a fluffy brush, blend it a little bit more just to again make it a little bit seamless here into the crease. I love how these shadows built up. They are very, very pigmented. They build up nicely. You can go light and then go heavy. I like that. And then mostly for the lid, what I would like to do is go in with that first shade, which is Tea Light, which is really white, very pale. So I'm just going to take a flat shader brush. I'm going to take kind of like a, a packing shader brush. I'm going to go into that and I'm just going to put that all over the lid because I like to kind of show like transition of color. So I'm just going to like pack that all over the lid and blend it into those brown colors that we have there. Again, just to kind of show a nice, a nice transition from light to dark. So once I've got that on the lid, I'm going to go back in with Tea Light, that light shade, and I'm going to do my brow bone, just highlight the brow bone there, because I always think that's a nice way to kind of like top off your, your eye looks when you can hit that brow bone. 
And of course, like this would be a great palette to add with like a shimmer or if you have like a stick foundation that's like a shimmer stick or glitter or a pack a punch, you could certainly do that on the eye. But I'm just trying to do, again, just using this palette today. So we are done with the eyeshadow. We're going to go ahead and move on to finish the eye look. For eyeliner, I'm going to take the Sex Kitten eyeliner. And again, I'm just going to do a little line on the bottom top lash. I feel like liner really puts a look together. For mascara, we're gonna take the Better Than Sex from Too Faced. This is one of my favorite mascaras for length and also volume. I just think it does a really nice job of giving you a little bit of both. For the bottom lashes, we are gonna go in with the Mega Length from Wet n Wild. This is my favorite lower lash line mascara. It has such a little skinny wand, you can really get in and pull those lashes down so that they really do get a little bit more of a pop. Next up is brows. We're gonna go in with the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. I just love this. It goes on so easily. It's got a nice little diamond tip. You can really just get through your brows so quickly just to fill them in if you have any like sparse spots. And it makes a world of difference. Like it doesn't um, take that long to do and it's easy to use. So this is one of my like favorite brow products of probably all time. After I use that, I go in with the Give Me Brow from Benefit, and again, this is like a great second step to do with your brows, just to give them a little bit more um, filler as well as gel and to hold them and slick them down. This is in the shade, I wanna say 3.5, so it slightly darkens mine as well, but not too dark. Just gives them a nice, um, I think a nice shape and hold. And another thing I do like to do if I'm being extra, you know, on my makeup is I go in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. I do think this is some good brow gel. Now granted, can you go to the drugstore and get some really cheap clear brow gel? You certainly can. But for some reason, I just really like what this does for my brows and I feel like it's a really good brow gel. So I do use it in, the, in that extra step to make it a little bit nicer and slick them down where they're not going anywhere. Alrighty guys, the last step is this Dose of Colors lip uh, lipstick. It's the uh, Mauve Story. This looked so pretty, so I really, really hope that this really is a nice color for me. Oh yes, like this is such a pretty shade. These are so creamy, you guys. Alrighty guys, so this is a really, really pretty formula. If you have not tried the liquid lipsticks, and this is the liquid velvet lipstick, it is so pretty. And this is the exact shade I was looking for. Like, I'm so happy. Sometimes when you look at swatches online, they do not come, they do not look the same. It looks so good. I am so pleased with this. This is one of those neutral shades that anybody could wear, I feel like, especially to work. And like I said, I'm doing a webinar tonight, so I wanted to just look put together since I have to actually see people on camera and they have to see me. Um, so I love how this turned out with this lipstick. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed. Just to recap with the palette, love it. I, I mean, I knew I was. So many people raved about the baked browns. It also, um, Dose of Colors also has this in a lot of other color stories like purple. I think there might be a smoky one. Um, this to me just spoke to me because I love browns and so I highly recommend this one. I am very pleased. If you are a neutral lover and you need makeup for work, very, very nice palette. I will put the links below and then I love the lipstick. I knew I liked the formula. I do have some of these formulas, but I did not have this shade. And again, this is a, this one is a special collab with I think Desi and Katie. Um, super, super beautiful. I love the packaging. It's definitely different than some of their other packaging, but um, so cool how this turned out today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you love anything from Dose of Colors. Is there anything else I should check out? Because I like their brand. I've only used really their lipsticks and this is the first time for me trying their shadows and I'm very, very pleased. So hope y'all enjoyed. I will chat with you in the comments below and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.